Hello everyone, it's Braised by Elon and I'm here with another video. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe down below. Also check out my Instagram and TikTok account at Braised by Elon. Thanks for watching. Well, this hairstyle is a pretty intricate style. This was a freestyle um, tribal braid type, so it's definitely a pretty intricate style. Not so beginner friendly, but you know, if you want something fun, something a little flirty, something different, this is definitely the style for you. So I'm just gonna start out by the way that I would a traditional knowledge braid, and I'm gonna add in some free stretch expressions braiding hair always be 52 inches or less because 72 inches tangles horrifically so the curly pieces that i'm taking off is water wave hair and it's the same hair that you typically use for like passion twists it's more expensive than the traditional braiding hair and i'm just taking pieces by piece and i'm mixing it with the traditional braiding hair um for added texture but also like i couldn't do the whole thing with the water wave hairs way too expensive not very practical either so that's what i did with that um i just did a regular braid all the way down and then i'm gonna go back and butterfly it if you don't know anything about the butterfly braids then you can check out the other videos on my page because that's more complex so you'd have to already know how to do that but it's essentially just peeling, pulling eat a small piece out of the braid um, you know just all the way down to the bottom and then you curl the bottom so I'm starting this braid off again as I would a traditional knowledge braid and I feed in pieces the same way I feed in the curly pieces in the same way that I do the straight pieces you see that little hand that I use in the back? I don't use a braiding rack. I use what's called a braid assistant hand by Magic Finger Studios. I'll try and link it um, in the captions below or in the um, comments perhaps. But that hand saves me so much time. You don't have to pre-prep the hair. You literally just take it out of the basket. You sit it on the hand and you pull piece by piece. As you guys can see, it's a lifesaver. It will literally cut your, down, your time down so much, especially if you pre-prep the hair before appointments or something as you go. This way you just pull the hair apart into pieces as you braid. And you know, you measure with your hands. Like the same way that you would pull it apart if you were to pull it apart and put it on a wrap. The only difference is you're just pulling it apart as you braid. So you're cutting out that prep time. And I promise you, your clients will appreciate it. So for this particular style, as you guys can see on the video, um, she's going to have a heart on the side. So I'm prepping out kind of a grid to her hair. This is the thing when you're dealing with intricate hairstyles where you're really busy, you always want to prep out the style. You always want to kind of establish a grid pattern that you're going to use. And I'm going to comb out her edges as I always do. I always ask, like, how much edges do you want out? I always let them look and see, is this enough? Is this too much? You know, do you want any of them out? Do you want me to put them all up? It's always up to the client. And I advise that if you're doing someone else's hair, that you should always ask. Because nothing worse than paying someone to do your hair and you don't like it, you know. You don't you don't want your clients to be unhappy. So I'm just parting her edges away from her the rest of her hair. So as you can see, this part is gonna be a heart, and then I'm gonna do the rubber band grit right there. So in order for me to do that, I am prepping it so that when I part out the heart, it's much easier to see the shape. And I want to make sure that her edges are pulled away from the part that I'm braiding up. So I'm just going to leather it with shining jam and comb it in. And then I'm going to begin with the combing out the box that I'm going to use to make the heart. So I'm separating. I've already combed out the side because the thing is, is I always try and work symmetrically. So, on both sides, whatever I'm going to do on this side, I'm going to do on the other. So, I parted out enough space to do the grid and the heart. And so, now I'm parting away from the grid to part out the heart from where I'm going to do the um, rubber band grid. So, when you're parting the heart, you're going to turn to the pointer end of your comb, the pointiest end. And you're just going to kind of like you're doing a circle. So towards you, you're going to kind of like do like a half circle with the comb. And 
and that's why I put the jam on as I'm parting the heart though because when it's something that's like really detailed the flyways being already moved away before you part just really helps you kind of see the picture it keeps the hair flat enough to where you can really see the detail on the part and you don't have to wonder like is it going to actually look like a heart when I begin to braid so this one, since there's no, this is like what I call a closed-in heart. There's no splitting going on. So I literally just combed out the top of the heart at the top. The hair is kind of already in a more diamond or triangular shape at the bottom because it's by her ear. And that's just kind of how your head is shaped right there. So I didn't do the heart yet. I just combed it out, combed out the space for it. And then I'm going to do it afterwards. And you see, I did comb out a little triangle piece in the back that I'm going to attach to the part that I'm working on right now. Just to, you know, give it a little bit more of the heart shape. So when you do the rubber band grid part, you're going to take the square that you have, split it in half. I already put the jam on because the jam helps hold the part without having to fight with flyaways and use a bunch of clips. So... You split it into a square, you split it in half, and then I put a rubber band on each piece because the thing is the rubber bands pop eventually, especially if your hair is oil, oily, you know, rubber bands can pop. And you prefer them to pop than to break off somebody's hair, so you don't want it to be on dry hair anyhow. So I put a rubber band on each piece, and then the same thing. When I part it, it's already parted down the middle. I have jammed down the middle, so it kind of keeps that hole. But when I part it um, to make each two pieces, I part it straight down as if it's one, just so that, you know, it's not crooked. And I just, you know, try and keep this split by twisting one over. So with this, I'm going to do a crisscross. Just making sure you know just trying to make it things as crispy as I can so I'm gonna crisscross one to the other side and then I'm gonna put a rubber band don't want to put it too tight because I don't like my clients to hurt I'm very big on my braids not hurting like I never have anyone complain about my braids hurting my braids being too tight giving them a headache I just think that's unnecessary like beauty does not have to be pain and braids don't have to be painful I think that a lot of times like people just aren't very gentle braiders but they don't have to hurt because my braids do not hurt so yeah I'm just gonna complete this I typically do depending on how big of a part I do up there but typically I'm able to do this with about eight little squares four squares on both sides of the grid and I just crisscross it all the way down until I'm done and you know when you you kind of want to make sure that you kind of leather it with the jam as well so when you do the crisscross it's not really poofy and you can really see the design And that's what I was saying where I was like, I'm going to take that end piece and then I'm going to braid it into here. So I'm just going to do this braid while well, I use the rubber band, but I'm going to braid that. So now I'm going to go back and braid the heart. And because this is a closed in heart, I'm just going to braid it just the same way that I would any knowledge braid. I'm going to split it into three, begin braiding with the real hair and feed in the hair. See, I'm going to split it into three, put the top piece over, and I'm just going to be in braiding. Just as I would with any other braid. I'm starting out with her real hair, obviously, because it's going to be not lace, and I want it to be sleek to her hand. And when I feed in the hair, I just slide it in between my index finger and my thumb. I have a video on doing traditional knotless braids, so this is just a traditional knotless braid at this point. So I'm just sliding in the hair. I'm starting out with the traditional braiding hair, and then I'm feeding in the curly hair in the same way that I would with the traditional braiding hair. 
Now, I will say with the curlier hair, you do have to break it a piece, break it apart. And actually, I said that I was using Water Wave. From the looks of this, this is actually Deep Wave. Now that I'm going back and watching the video, that's Deep Wave. But it's about the same brand. So, I'm just pinching it off the hook, um, mixing the hair as I go. And this is gonna, I'm gonna like pull it apart. So, you wanna put in enough of the weave so that when you do loosen it up, when you butterfly it out, that the real hair didn't poke out because that's something that can happen with the butterfly braids. And you don't want that because once people's real hair starts poking out, it'll mess up the style and it won't last as long. So yeah, I'm just going to finish this off doing the same thing that I've been doing up until this point. And then when I get to the crisscross that's right above it, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to finish it off as if it was a regular knotless braid and just attach the hair in the same way. That you see, I'm just merging it as if it was a regular braid and just starting off from that point. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to learn at least two techniques from this, from making the heart to doing the zigzag rubber band method. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.